Hey. Welcome to St. Francis Community of Faith for all people and dogs. A sanctuary of spirituality. Sorry, I got it. In that. Blessed be God, Mother, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And with and your with spirit. Your spirit. We have failed oh God, failed the others. And celebrate God's mystery. I confess to the mighty God and, and to, to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters and that I have greatly sinned, that I have greatly in, sinned my, in my thoughts and in my in words. My words. And what, what I have done, done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my fault, through my most egregious fault. Therefore, I ask me, the ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to pray for me to the Lord our God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, for our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. You go to page three, we'll pick up there. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace everybody. Peace. 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 Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, that we walk eagerly in the same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handeth himself over to death. He lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Is Jan reading tonight? Yeah, I'm or? reading. I'm reading. I'm sorry. A reading mm -hmm. from the book of the prof prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in, your, in you that you may live. And I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With, with the, Lord, the Lord there is, is mercy and, and fullness of, of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice and supplication. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark inequities, O Lord, who can stand? But with you, with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. With the with Lord, the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in, in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. 
with the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their in in inequity. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. This second reading is a reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit. If only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. <laughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. <clears throat> the sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end his in death, but in for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus has already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. And Jesus said to her, our brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? He said to them, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you made him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could you not the one who opened the eyes of the blind? have done something so that this man would have not died. So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. There was a cave, and a stone lay across it. And Jesus said, Take away the stone, Martha. That dead man, dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for year, four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, have said, said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus. Come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, 
and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. And many of the Jews had come to Mary and seeing what he had done, they began to believe in him. We are slow of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We're all familiar with the story of Jesus raising Nazareth after being, after being dead for four days. Think about a moment about your loved ones who are no longer with you and how you have, would have felt knowing that Jesus stopped by your home only to find a friend who was dead. Then for him to go to the tomb physically raised, raised up to the loved ones before your very eyes for the chilling experience. And to think all the wonderful person represents each individual on the earth. And physically, the life. We do see him new life, new life through his resurrection. During his time in the desert, Jesus continuously tempted by Satan, just a simple thing as turn, turning the stones into bread, so his human desire in eating. Satan would have given Jesus and eat everything in a flick of a finger, but Jesus knew, knew this. For now his father will be rejected Satan's word. It is easy to give in to the call uh, to the evil. So it's the easier road to take for many years. But as Jesus rejected evil, so too must we. We only do this with Jesus by our side. Our birthday at I'm very sorry about this. I'm having some problems here. At birth, we are only through sin that upon receiving the sacrament of baptism, our sins are cleansed when we share in the resurrection of Jesus. We are resurrected through Jesus, that on the cross, where he conquered Satan and sin. Yes, when Jesus died on the cross, it looked like he had lost the battle to Satan. But on that third day, after the death on the cross, Jesus showed us through his resurrection, Satan, the power of Satan and sin. Through Jesus fasting in the desert, he became stronger in his prayer to his Father in heaven. He was able to accept the cup of death and the victory over sin through his resurrection. Jesus is the perfect example for us during the season of Lent, through his continuous prayer and time away from everyday events. He was able to strengthen and deepen his relationship with his father. He often went into the desert and prayed. Through prayer and meditation, we become stronger and in his name, we can even victorious over sin. Like Lazarus, after being raised from the dead and through prayer and personal friendship, through Christ, we are raised to a more powerful relationship with God in the daily lives. Similarly, in today's reading, of the raising of the last day, we should contemplate on our lives when we are dead in the sin that we can turn our hearts over to Jesus friend who can be be there to support us through the difficult times of today when you are in need to discuss concern that you are going through you turn to a friend one who can listen and offer you advice on how to go through that trial one one who can stand by you but we often fail to see that jesus is there and is our friend when we 
we offer often have the tendency to pray to God when things are not going well. But what usually happens is when things are going well, we tend to forget to speak to him and thank him for our blessings. We should pray also to God in the good times and bad times. For this is what God wants of us, our friend. Expect from us through our intimacy with Jesus, we are deepening our faith, our renewal in the friendship and love of Jesus. As Lazarus and his family celebrated Lazarus' resurrection from the dead, they held a feast in honor of Jesus with their family and as their friend. Each of them offered themselves and their praise to the source of all life. Mary, with pure love of Jesus as her teacher and friend, washed his feet with an offering of praise and worship, the most extravagant as she poured for the expense oil. So too, we must feast with Jesus at the Eucharist and often offer ourselves to Jesus daily in our lives, celebrating our new life in him. God's love for us is beyond mention. His love for us existed way before we were born. During the past days of Lent, during the past days of Lent, we offered our penance and sacrifice, giving to those in need. And let us be a time once again, renewing our, our love for God. We offer ourselves to him in all that he did we do. Let us renew our baptism vows, promising to renounce the works of Satan and following Jesus through the pain path of holiness. Let us prepare to celebrate our opportunities in our world today to give back to others what Jesus had given to us. We have food banks. We help to feed the poor, giving to them what they need to be fed. And only in physical food, but the spiritual fill food as well. As Jesus said to Judas, the poor will always be with you, God will not. Yet we know that Jesus works to better the lives of those who were sick and dying. We know he cared about us and the poor. Therefore, we need to feed others with the spiritual food of Jesus so that they may come to see Jesus in us, caring for the poor and illness is a sacred duty because it is the concern of God's own heart. Feeding the spiritual food to others will help nourish them in their hunger. We give to those less fortunate as fortunate than all. It's good to feed their body and through our love with them and our example. Offer them the spiritual food to give them nourishment and strength to lift. Get them up during these hard times. As Jesus gives us spiritual food, so too must we offer our spiritual food to others. It is not meant to be kept to ourselves, but to give to others openly and freely. We find Jesus alive and walking amongst us, amongst us every day through all that we need. Let us celebrate our redemption every day, especially during the Holy Week time when Jesus is dying for us and offering the perfect sacrifice in our lives to be useless. As we prepare this week for Christ's passion on the cross and his resurrection, we shall make ourselves available to God for the purpose of serving others. Let us offer ourselves with him on the cross so that we may rise with him on his resurrection day and give ourselves to him totally. Amen.
Thank you, John, for that beautiful sermon. Um, you you raised a, a thought in my mind that was similar to when I was reading the readings for this week. And I was recalling, as you mentioned in your homily, the many people in my life who were very close to me who have died. And I kind of was wondering what Ma Martha and Mary were thinking. They must have been very angry at Jesus. Even though they believed in the resurrection, they also were very shocked and, and horrified that he wouldn't have come. And then, you know, always that part of the gospel where he spends a couple of more days knowing that his best friend is ill. You know, and then I started thinking in my own life, a lot of times when when I've suffered the loss of a loved one, sometimes I think it's very normal and natural for us to ask God why. Why now? Why this way? Losing my mother very suddenly and my father over a long period of illness, the two the two opposites of, of loss. And when I step back and reflect on it, what, what touches me most is the fact that God is there. God is the strength that got me through both of those experiences. You know, we, we can't rush mourning or grief. It happens. And there's no pill we can take to get rid of it. What we have to do is embrace it for as long as it takes. And for some people, grief and the mourning process is short. For others, it goes on for years because of that deep, deep connection that perhaps they mm -hmm. had with the person who has died. I can't believe how anyone who doesn't believe in the resurrection could deal with the death of a loved one. You know, this week we heard so many deaths. We have the death of a baby who was taken off of life support yesterday and died last night. You know, we, we heard the death of so many people this week, friends of ours and, and people that are connected to our community. And it's real easy to ask why, why God? But God is there with us. God is giving us the strength that we need if we're open to get through this experience. In the, the idea of mindfulness, mindfulness is the balance in our life of joy and sorrow. Our life is not always joy and our life is not always sorrow, but there is a, a balance that takes place. And I think that's what Jesus was saying to Martha and Mary and to us in his delay. Life is a balance. We will experience sorrow. We will experience joy. Our life will not be total joy and our life won't be total sorrow. But somewhere in between is the spirit that gives us the strength when things are sorrowful and enables us to wait and hope for when it turns to joy. Thank you. Well, thank you both. Um, this is one of the most, to me, it's one of the most visceral gospel passages uh, uh, in in the Bible. And like Ken was saying, God is there with us in our suffering. And it says it right there. And I think this is what breaks that tension of Martha being so angry with Jesus when he gets there. It's a, it's, And Jesus wept. He enters into our suffering. Really the epitome of hope for me. 
even if even after he says he's going to raise Lazarus and to remove the stone, no, it's been four days. And he's just, I got this. Just believe. And that gives us hope. That is what makes the suffering bearable, is that Jesus weeps with us. He enters into our suffering with us and walks us through the suffering. And I think that's what makes our sorrows easier to bear. And it just sets the stage for the coming Holy Week where all of our hope will be realized. Let us profess our faith. We believe in one God. We believe in one God. Father, Father, Father the Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and and earth of all, all that is seen. And seen. And seen. We believe in one We Lord. believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ the, only the only Son of God, of God eternally begotten, begotten of the Father. 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 God from God, God from light from light, light, from light. light. True, God, true God, true God, from true God, God. begotten, not, begotten being, not being, but one in being one with, with the Father. Through Him all things were made. Him all things were made for us. For us, our salvation. He came, he down, came down, down from heaven. heaven. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary. He was born of the Virgin Mary and, and became like us. us. For our sake, for our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, he suffered died, died, and died, and was buried. On the third, On the third day, the third day he was again, he, in the fulfillment of the he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again in the world, the, world, world, the, the living and the dead. And, dead. and the dead. And his kingdom will and have his no His kingdom will have no end. We believe, we believe in the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Lord, Lord the giver of life, life, who proceeds from the Father and Son. Father and Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. And glorified. He has has spoken through the prophets. prophets. We believe in the Holy Holy Catholic Catholic, Church. 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 We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. For those whose lives are broken by distress, may the God of healing restore you. For those whose lives are broken by fear, may the God of healing restore you. For those whose lives are broken by anger, may the God of healing restore you. For those whose lives are broken by pain, may the God of healing restore you. For those whose lives are broken by illness, may the God of healing restore you. For those whose lives are broken by sin, may the God of healing restore you. And for what else shall we pray?
I'd like to pray for um, a couple, uh, Tori and Michael, who lost their child last night. May the Lord continue to give them hope and help them heal. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray for all those suffering with Alzheimer's or dementia and all of their caregivers. We Lord, pray oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Lord, hear our prayer. God of healing, gently touch these eyes with your spirit. Bring warmth and comfort, life and wholeness restoration into fractured lives and, and souls. Amen. 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 This time we'll prepare for the Eucharist. If you want to grab your wine, juice, or bread, we'll consecrate them all together. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands for us, and from the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our human with him. Blessed be God forever. Bring my brothers and sisters. May my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give Thanks. Hear us, Almighty God, and having installed your, instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by working the sacrifice. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. Without them, we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of God hosts, hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Except the Lord, we pray, the relations of your people and those you have brought to new life, and renewed by confession of your name, by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. You are indeed, O Lord, the fountain of you. Take holy these gifts, ascending down the Holy Spirit, Take the dewfall, and that for us, we may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks and broke it. He shared it with his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, Christ took a chalice of wine and once more, giving thanks, shared it with his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for man. Many. 
for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of Therefore, according to his command, O oh Father, we remember his death. We proclaim his resurrection. Proclaim his glory. We await his coming in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the symbol of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer to you, Almighty God, the bread of life, the chunks of salvation, and humbly, that for taking with the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one in the unity of your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Holy Church, remember throughout the world, and bring here to the fullness of charity that together with Ken, our bishop, all the clergy, religious, and laity, remember our brothers and sisters who, who have fallen asleep in the Lord in the hope of the resurrection, and all the martyrs, and others who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, Self, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Clare, St. Therese, and Blessed Carlo Acutis, who have pleased you through the ages, we may be worthy of eternal life. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior's command, as our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, let us together with confidence pray. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our May be always free from sin and safe from all distress. Now and forever. Jesus said to his apostles, My peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Put not upon your sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Amen. Behold the name of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ. In his body and blood, we have communion. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We long for the gift of your mercy and grant. Receive by your generous gift, the Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you. Amen. 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 Yes, I just want to just want to remind everyone that um, next Sunday is Palm Sunday. And we will be having our Blessing of the Palms in our Palm Sunday Liturgy, which begins our Holy Week at 10 a.m. Uh, in the St. John's Episcopal Historical Landmark Church, which is 1 Bar Barad, B-E-R-A-R-D, Boulevard in Oakdale. Um, there'll be plenty of palm if you'd like to come, or you may even take some palm home with you if there's anyone that's not able to make it, that lives with you or that you know of. Um, and all of our Holy Week services will be at seven o'clock at the church, Holy Thursday. We'll celebrate both the Mass of the Eucharist and the Chrism Mass. I'll be blessing the oils that we'll use throughout the year. We'll also have Good Friday service, um, Veneration of the Cross. And then we will have our Easter Vigil which will start at seven. The Palm Sunday service, hopefully if weather permits, will start in the gazebo with the blessing and we will process around, briefly around the grounds of the church and then enter into the church for our celebration of the Eucharist and the word. Uh, we'll also start on the Easter vigil outside for the blessing of the fire and the lighting of the Paschal candle. So we do hope everyone will be able to join us either in person or on Zoom. Maybe a little tricky to capture everything on Zoom, but we'll try. Um, but we'll definitely have it available as well as live. And Palm Sunday, if you do plan to come, just let me know because we'll be having some refreshments for the first time since COVID. Uh, after the service, we'll share in some fellowship. So I hope to see everyone there. and. I hope that everyone has a blessed Holy Week. May it has ended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be Thanks to God. God. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Good night, everybody. Have a great Good night. 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 Good